I got a question a few weeks ago that made me so angry. I couldn't think of the perfect response in the moment, you know, because I was angry. And I've been trying to think of what I want to say ever since. So here's what happened. I was hanging out with three other people, one of whom is a good friend of mine, two I just know in passing. And my good friend was talking about her mom, who is also vegan, and saying that they go out for dinner to this lovely restaurant every week as a family. And her mom gets a special meal made for her because they don't have anything vegan on the menu. And every time they go, when the waiter is giving them the soup specials, and it's the same waiter, he tells them about this nice vegetable soup he has on offer, and she says, oh great, is it vegan? Every time he says no. So first of all, I don't know why they don't just clue in. I guess there's some chicken broth in there, but why can't they just use veggie broth? Anyway, so she was telling this story, and one of the people who I don't know very well says, I don't understand why vegans make it so hard on themselves. Why doesn't she just eat the soup? Is a little bit of chicken broth really gonna hurt? Why such a restrictive diet? That's where, like, internally, I totally lost it. I mean, externally, I was just like, you know, kind of speechless, <laughs> wanting to, to just scream. I said something like, well, it's, it's not, a restrictive diet. It's that we choose to live in line with our ethics and it's not about restricting ourselves from having soup. It's that we just don't want to eat the soup if there's chicken broth in it, you know? So I am coming up on my nine year vegan anniversary. In those years, I've gotten a lot of questions about why I'm vegan. And I'm sure those of you who are vegan also get those kinds of questions. Particularly as we're coming up to the holidays and we have to explain why we're not eating turkey. I went vegetarian after I had, I had a dinner with a friend and he was talking about why he was vegetarian and talking about the environmental impacts of animal agriculture. And I hadn't heard that aspect before. And so after that dinner, went vegetarian overnight. Then, because I wanted to know what I was doing, I was looking up information about vegetarianism, learned more about the animal suffering that I'd basically tried to ignore my whole life. I learned more about the health impacts of animal foods versus plant foods, and the layers upon layers of reasons to be vegetarian. And through reading all of that, I very quickly realized that eggs and dairy were no different to beef and chicken. So went vegan just a few months after going vegetarian. So back to the soup question, here's what I came up with after many hours of thought. Uh, you can let me know what you think. So it's like someone telling you that you should just go into a store, pick out the clothes you want and just take them. Why make it so hard on yourself for earning money when you could just take them? If you believe that stealing is wrong, then you wouldn't even consider doing that, right? I don't know. I had some that were like way more graphic, <laughs> but I wanted, I wanted it to be a purely logical response. And maybe not, that's not the right approach. I know plenty of people who, who when presented with logic will not agree um, because they have a different worldview. I heard environmentalists described recently as people who care more about being selfless than selfish. And that really hit home. That is like the essence of it. And that also helps me understand why people are not environmentalists, why people are not vegan. So why am I vegan? Well, it's all of those things, but essentially it comes down to the fact that I care, I have compassion. If there's one thing I've learned in the last nine years, it's that the strongest motivation comes when we can think beyond ourselves. So for instance, if we go vegan to get healthier, I mean, getting healthier is a great goal, but if you go vegan because your doctor scared you into it by talking about cholesterol, 
it might motivate you in the short term, but long term might not keep you there. Being healthy for your kids, much more powerful. Being vegan to help save the planet, much more powerful. Being vegan to save animals, so much more powerful. I love hearing other people's stories. I learned so much from it. So I've invited a few of my good friends, vegan bloggers and YouTubers to share their stories starting today on Instagram. If you follow me at Heather Nichols, I'm gonna be sharing all of their posts so you can go find them, learn more about them and their work and why they're vegan and hopefully get some inspiration. I'd also love for you to share why you're vegan or why you want to be vegan. I would love to hear your story. I'm so looking forward to learning more about each of you over the next three weeks. So please do share if you have a chance. Even if you don't feel like it's worth sharing, please do, because it is. Either in the comments down below or on Instagram. If you use the hashtag whyvegan, I'm gonna be keeping up on that for the next three weeks. You can tag me at Heather Nichols and I will surely see it there. I'm gonna be reposting stories, recipes to remind you what wonderful things await you in the world of vegan food and hopefully inspire your taste buds a little bit as well. Now, this is not about one-upping, being more vegan, being uber health snobby. This is about compassion. As vegans, that's one of our basic values, right? We have compassion for animals, we have compassion for the planet, so let's have compassion for each other as well. Thank you so much for watching, for listening, for always being there. I so appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. All right, have a good one. We'll talk soon. Bye.